with warmer temperatures, more of us are getting out and about, but we really need to be careful because the wildlife also out and about. Joining me now is Dr. Jeremy Kentner with one of our local ERs. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Thanks for having me. Now, you are here in Central Texas, and unfortunately, you know rattlesnakes. They're certainly out and about this time of year. Talk to me a little bit about what you're seeing in the ER, what we need to be concerned about when we're out there. Yeah, they're definitely seeing um, more bites this time of year. It's very common since the temperatures are warming up. The snakes like to come out of hibernation. Um, so you're going to start seeing them a lot more in your yard. Uh, and around. So you definitely need to be careful when you're walking through grass or, you know, taking pictures in blue bonnets or whatever you're doing around town. How big of a problem is this? If I was out in my backyard and I got bit by a rattlesnake, what would you encourage me to do? Yeah, the most important thing to do if you are bit by a rattlesnake is really get to your closest ER. Uh, rattlesnake bites are extremely dangerous. Um, one thing you should do though is call ahead if you have been bitten to make sure they do have the anti-venom. Like our facility out in Bastrop, Ally Medical ER, we have the anti-venom, but a lot of other facilities don't. So sometimes if you go to a facility where you don't have that, um, it just delays your, your treatment. Um, and you really need to get in there just as, as, as quickly as you can. Can a rattlesnake bite be deadly then if we don't get immediate care? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there, there are a lot of people that die from rattlesnake bites every year. Uh, the problem is, is that it can affect your blood. You know, most people are bitten on the hand. You can lose a finger, a hand, but once it gets into your bloodstream, it can cause death for sure. Dr. Kentner, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me.